Prince Harry has finally been abandoned by the royal family as he is forced to attend the UK Invictus Games event on his own. King Charles and Prince William just don't want to know him anymore. up everyone it's me Steph the Alter Nerd your nerdy alternative and welcome to another dose of the Daily Nerd where I break down the royal news and gossip of the day that's pretty much got me eye and oh my goodness yeah let's jump into this one shall we because it's been reported no senior members of the royal family will actually join Hazza this month at the UK Invictus event uh, which he's also going to attend without Megzi uh, before they go on their Big, let's be real here, royal tour to Nigeria. Uh, and so, yes, he's going to fly into the UK in just a little over a week's time. Uh, and this is the first time since Princess Catherine publicly revealed uh, in that video that she is recovering, going through treatment for cancer, right? Uh, now, neither Hazza and Megzi's office uh, nor Buckingham Palace have confirmed any plans for Hazza to either meet Prince William, Princess Catherine, or even his father, King Charles. This is why I said right at the beginning, looks like Prince William and King Charles don't even want to know him anymore. He's coming over to UK. They are not making any effort to actually meet up with him. That speaks a lot of volumes, guys. A lot of volumes. Uh, now, we know he's going to give a reading at St. Paul's Cathedral on uh, May the 8th in London uh, to mark the Games' 10th anniversary. Uh, but no mention has been made of any attendance of any royal member of the royal family, let alone the senior ones. Or Megzi uh, with his two children. It's thought that Hazza will stay in a hotel during his stay in the UK, as he's done on previous recent visits, before days later jetting off to Nigeria to join Megzi. Now, this is the thing, right? Why is he staying in a hotel? Why can't he just ring up King Charles's dad and be like, I'm going to be in the UK for a couple of days. Can, can I stay at one of the castles or one of the residences? I'm telling you, again, this is why I said right at the beginning, it looks like King Charles and Prince William have had enough. They don't want to know him anymore. You've got a family member coming over into UK and it looks like they are not making any niceties whatsoever with Hazard to turn around and be like, oh, you're coming over, you can stay at one of our castles or residences. Nope. They have demoted him. They have relegated him to... You ain't going anywhere near us, all our castles, all our residences. You are now a mere peasant. You can stay in the hotels like the rest of them. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! The shade. And yes, it's not just the royal family that has abandoned Hazard and is like, you can attend the UK Invictus Games event on your own. But Megzi, as I've mentioned, also is abandoning Hazard as well and is not supporting him and going to the 10th anniversary Invictus Games event in the UK. Now, if you missed my Daily Nerd from a couple of days ago, you might want to check it out because uh, there's a reason, opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, why she is not attending this particular Invictus Games event. And it might actually shock you. Oh, yeah, it's an insane, ridiculous reason. But I think it's very believable. So if you didn't check out this Daily Nerd from a couple of days ago, do so. May enlighten you a little bit. Uh, in the meantime, though, yes, Prince William definitely does not want to know. There is zero chance, no chance, no chance in hell Prince William will see Hazza uh, when he visits uh, later on this month. Andrew Pierce claims on the Mail's YouTube show the reaction. So uh, we've got Andrew Pierce uh, saying that it seemed unlikely that with Princess Catherine receiving treatment for cancer and the stress that had been caused by Hazard's book Spare with what Hazard wrote in the book about both Princess Catherine and Prince William, Prince William's like, you got no chance I'm going to meet up with you, mate. Uh, but Andrew Pierce and his co-host Sarah Vine both wanted uh, Hazard to use the visit to see King Charles. I would respectfully disagree with them. 
because I won't trust Hazard as far as I could throw him. I would be patting him down for any recording devices and, you know, swiping him with one of those electronic doodats that, you know, kind of like searches you for bugs and, you know, all that lot of electronic bugs. And if you're Secret recording and all that. Well, I, I'd just do a full freaking security search on it. Possibly a cavity search as well. I'm just saying. Uh, but uh, he did predict uh, that, yes, Hazza and King Charles would meet during the visit, but was adamant that Prince Hazza and the Prince William visit would never, ever happen. Putting it down to what Hazza said in his book, Spare, saying Princess Catherine is still being treated and recovering. I think a lot of her stress I would directly associate with Prince Hazza and the book. Totally would agree with that. I think it's been very difficult for her and the king. He is not getting any younger. The thing is, though, I would also say it's not just stress from Hazza's book, Spare, but I would also say that a significant amount of stress would be from Omid Scobie's book from last year, Endgame. We all remember the Dutch version that yeah, outed uh, Princess Catherine and King Charles as the supposed royal racist. Guys, I don't believe that for a second, in all honesty, right? But for that to be out in the world, for that to be said about you... Yeah, I would attribute a lot of the stress to also Omid Scobie's book, Endgame. Um, now, when Harry arrives, it's understood he's going to stay in the hotel, not one of the royal palaces. As I said earlier on, I think that's an absolute diss from the royal family to Prince Hazard turning around and saying, you ain't staying in one at palaces or residences. You can slum it up like the rest of public and you can stay in a hotel. I mean, epic chess move as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but then he says, I hope the king sees him, as in Prince Hazza. The relief is Megzi is not coming. She's staying in America with the children. And that is a relief. Like, as far as I'm concerned, America, you can keep her. We don't want her in the UK. It's all Gucci. You can have her in America. She can stay in America all she wants. It's all Gucci. Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> but um, his uh, co-host agreed saying i hope he sees his father i hope it's nice for them i hope it's not too stressful for the king because after all he's undergoing cancer treatment people ask me often do i ever think there's going to be a re reconciliation i think it's quite hard to see how after all the things that he said and done i can never see i, I cannot see a way back for hazard at this point there can never be 100% reconciliation as far as i'm concerned i just think it's impossible it's gone beyond the line it's gone past that point uh, she's optimistic though I'd like to think it was possible I don't think it is uh, I think hell would freeze over before that happens I don't know I think sometimes when families go through difficult illnesses it can really bring them together but it does not seem to be doing so if I was the king and my son was coming over for an event I would expect him to stay with me I would not be putting him in a hotel that is the thing Clarence House has got about three ante rooms you could just uh, put him in one of those uh, on a put up bed and as I said you know there's the royal family have got a lot of space, a lot of room for Hazard to be staying over at one of their palaces and residences. It's quite telling that that's not actually happening, that he's staying in a hotel, right? Which is why I said earlier on, right? First and foremost, Hazard has been abandoned by the royal family because reportedly none of them, even the senior members, are actually going to be showing up at the 10th anniversary Invictus Games event in London in about just over a week's time. But secondly... You've got Prince William and King Charles in particular reportedly turning around and saying, yeah, we don't even want to know you anymore. Prince William essentially not even considering wanting to meet up uh, with Hazard when he's in the UK. King Charles in the sense of Prince Hazard staying in a hotel. King Charles has the power to turn around and say, son, you can stay in one at palaces or one at residences. There you go. Have Make do. He's not doing that. That, to me, is very, very telling indeed. With that being said, if you appreciated this video and you want more, and believe me, of course there's going to be more, then make sure you subscribe to join our Alt and Nerd tribe. I'll be honest with you, help us now get to a million so we can also get that gold play button right there and hopefully cause a Meghan Markle meltdown on Instagram. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories, whatever. Also, as well, if you've got some very strong opinions about Hazard's visit to the UK, and I bet you do, then make sure you send me a super thanks. 
thanks. It's just below this video right here. We can have a conversation about this because it does guarantee a response from me. And until the next time, you guys. Laters.